Hello everyone, welcome back to Pabli. In this video, we're going to learn how to send automated WhatsApp message for type form inquiries and add details in Google Sheets. So I am an owner of a business in which I sell online courses to my students on different topics. I have created a form with the help of type form that's a course inquiry form with the help of which all my students are going to raise the inquiries that they have. So here my objective is that, that by any of my students, whenever a new form submission is going to be done, an inquiry is going to be raised with the help of type form, automatically towards the student, I want to send a WhatsApp message. I want to thank them for showing interest in my services and telling them the next step that they have to follow. After sending the WhatsApp message, I also want to create a record of the inquiry details in my Google Sheets. I want to add the details of the form submission in my Google Sheets. Now doing this manually takes me a lot of time. So what I did was I simply created an automation between all of these applications with the help of Pabli Connect, which is an amazing automation and integration software. So if you want to learn about this amazing automation, then let me take you all to my screen. Welcome to my screen. In this video, we're going to learn how to send automated WhatsApp message for type form inquiries and add details in Google Sheets. When potential students fills out a type form to inquire about courses, an automated message can be instantly forwarded to them, thanking them for showing their interest and provide details about the next steps. Simultaneously, the student information such as name, email, course of interest and inquiry should be logged into Google Sheet for easy tracking and follow-ups by the admissions team. This automation streamlines communication and ensures no lead is missed. And we're going to be creating this amazing automation with the help of Pabli Connect. So on the screen, you can see the website of Pabli Connect, that is pabli.com slash connect. After browsing this website, we need to sign into our Pabli Connect account. But if you're a new user, you can sign up for free and get 100 free tasks every month. So as I'm an existing user, I'm going to sign into my Pabli Connect account. After signing in, you can see the all Pabli apps window in front of you in which you can see the five applications of Pabli. From which we are going to select Pabli Connect by clicking on Access Now. Then Pabli Connect's dashboard is going to appear in front of you. In order to start an automation process in Pabli Connect, we need to create a workflow. For that, click on the top right corner button right over here that says Create Workflow. A dialog box is then going to appear in front of you which is asking for the workflow name and for us to select a folder. So for the name of my workflow, I'm going to give it as Send Automated WhatsApp Message for Type Form Inquiries and Add Details in Google Sheets. So this is the name that I want to give to my workflow. Next, it is asking for us to select a folder. So on the left side of my screen you can see I've created multiple folders in my Pabli Connect account from which I'm going to select a specific folder in which I want to save this workflow in for that click on this drop down so these are the folders from which I'm going to select type form automations as the folder I want to save this workflow in after giving my name to a workflow and selecting the folder let's click on create in order to create a workflow a workflow is created in the name of send automated WhatsApp message for type form inquiries and add details in Google Sheets and there are two windows in front of you. One over here says trigger, other says action. Trigger and action are the two most important steps of our automation process because our process depends on these two concepts. Over here trigger says when this happens and action says do this. That means our action is a response towards our trigger. In an automation process there can be only one trigger step but multiple action steps. We are going to set up our trigger step first. And for the trigger application what I'm going to do is I'm going to select it as type form as with the help of type form I've created an inquiry form with the help of which my students are going to raise the inquiries that they have and I want that it, as soon as a new form submission is going to be done by my students with the help of type form automatically public and it should capture the response of that that is how the trigger application I've selected it as type form now for the trigger event I'm going to select it as new entry as whenever the new form submission is going to be done with the help of type form automatically automatically Pabli Connect should capture the response. After selecting the trigger application and the event, I'm going to click on this connect button. A new window is going to appear in front of you. On which click on add new connection or else you can select the existing connection. After that, I'm going to click on connect with type form. Then a new window is then going to appear in front of you which is asking for a permission. So I'm going to click on this accept button. As the save process, my data is perfectly saved with Pabli Connect. So I'm going to click on this accept button. As you can see that we successfully authorized type form to Pabli Connect. After authorizing it is asking for us to select the form with the help of which the inquiries are going to be raised by my students and Pabli can should capture the response. So for the form I've created a form in the name of 
course inquiry form and with the help of this form the inquiries are going to be raised by my students for the form over here i'm going to select it as course inquiry form okay after selecting the form over here from the drop down you have to click on the save and send test request button as you're going to do that you can see it is saying waiting for webbook response so now what we are going to do is we are going to do check whether type form is successfully connected to public connect or not and how we're going to do that by doing the test form submission of the form that we have created using type form and we're going to check whether as we're going to do the test form submission public connect captures the response of the test form submission being done or not for that i'm going to do the test form submission of the form that i've created so this is the form that i've created and now to the test submission i'm going to click on the share button over here this is the shareable link right away. I'm going to copy this link from here and I'm going to open the link in a new tab right over here. This is the form that I've created with the help of which the students are going to raise their inquiries that they have. It is asking for the details of the student. First name for the student, I'm going to select it as test. For the last name of my student, I'm going to write it as lead. For the phone number over here, I'm going to write in a dummy mobile number. And for the email over here, I'm going to write it as test lead at the rate pablitudes.com okay after that i'm going to click on this ok button it is asking for which course are you interested in for the course over here i'm going to select a course from the drop down and over here it is asking for the question or the comments that i have for the question over here i'm going to write it as the question is i'd love to know if the course includes hands-on projects and what software tool will be covered over here thank you okay so this is a question i'm going to submit the form as you can see over here the type form submission has now been done the inquiry form submission has been done for the course that i'm selling as the form submission is done as the test form submission is done i'm going to open my workflow and scroll down and yes you can see right over here we have received the response of the form submission being done with the time and date you can see right over here like, let us now tell you the response we have received the email of our student that is test lead at the rate pablitudes.com for the phone number we have received a dummy mobile number first name as test last name as lead with the label that was selected for the course as graphic design and ux ui fundamentals and the question that we have asked you can see right over here i'd love to know if the course includes hands-on projects and what software tool will be covered thank you so this is the question as well so this means that we fully connected type form to public connect and our trigger setup is done now whenever a new form submission is going to be done by any of my students with the help of type form automatically in the similar manner public connect is going to capture the response as now we have the response of the form submission what my objective is to send a whatsapp message to that student who have done the form submission thanking them for showing interest in my services and telling them the next steps that they have to follow so for sending whatsapp messages i have created a message template with the help of whatsapp by ai sensei with the help of which i am going to be sending messages to my students okay so this is a template message you can see right over here that i've created let us read the template it says hello next to hello you can see it says student's name so this is the variable that i've created in this template right over here in place of this variable for the student's name i have to enter the value of the student's name who have done the form submission so this can be a personalized message for the student okay that is why i've added a variable right over here next it says thank you for showing interest in our courses we are excited to help you and your educational journey here are the next steps on our admission team will review your inquiry and get back to you within 24 hours meanwhile feel free to explore our course offerings at www this is the example website right over here if you have an urgent question don't hesitate to reply to this message we'll assist you promptly thank you best regards so you can see right over here this is the message that i want to send to my students on their whatsapp as a message thanking them for showing interest in my services okay so this is a template that i've created so now I'm going to set up my action step and for the action application what I'm going to do is I'm going to select it as WhatsApp by AI Sensei. As with the help of WhatsApp by AI Sensei, I've created a message template with the help of which I'm going to be sending messages to my students on their WhatsApp. And for the action event I'm going to select as send template message. Then I'm going to click on this connect button. A new window is then going to appear in front of you on which you can add new connection or else you can select the existing connection. After that it is asking for the API key. With the help of this API key we are going to connect whatsapp by ai sensei to public connect to have the access of the api key follow the steps given here below in the help desk firstly i'm going to log into my ai sensei account so this is my ai sensei account right over here and to have the access of the api key from the left side of the panel go to this manage option under manage you can see it says api key select this option from here this is the api key i'm going to copy this from here and i'm going to paste it in my public connect workflow right over here and then i'm going to click on the save button as you can see that whatsapp by ai sensei is now connected to public connect 
connect. After connecting over here, it is asking for the campaign name. In order to send template messages with the help of WhatsApp by ANC to our students, we need to create a campaign first of the, of the message template that we have created using WhatsApp by ASNC. First, we are going to create a campaign right over here. For that, log into your ASNC account. So this is my ASNC account. And to create a campaign in this account from the left side of the panel, go to the campaign section. Click on this launch button on the top right corner. It is going to ask for us to select the campaign type selected as API campaign. Now we are going to create a campaign. Firstly, it is asking for the campaign name. So the campaign name over here, I'm going to write it as course and query messages. So I'm going to copy this from here, this campaign name. Okay. And for the template, I've created a template in the name of Typeform message template. I'm going to select that template from the drop down and then I'm going to click on the set live button and go to campaign button. As you can see right over here, campaign has been now successfully created in my WhatsApp by ASNC account. Okay. And the status of the campaign you can see over here shows as live. It is very important for the status to be live because over here it says no, the status of the campaign should be live as mentioned over here in the help desk. So remember the the status of the campaign should be live okay as the campaign is created for the campaign i'm going to paste the campaign name that i've created we have to exactly write in the campaign name that we have created in our aisnc account okay next it is asking for the mobile number so for the mobile number on which you want to send a whatsapp message to what i'm going to do is i'm going to map the data mapping means inserting data from the previous step so i'm going to insert the data from the previous step of this workflow and how mapping works is that as soon as i'm going to click on this field you can see it says type form new entry this was the previous step of this workflow as I'm going to click on it, this was the same response that was captured in our previous step. As over here, it is asking for the mobile number over here from the response. I'm going to search for the mobile number. So in my pre-response, you can see I've received the phone number of my student who have done the form submission. So from my pre-response, as I want to send my students a WhatsApp message from my pre-response, I'm going to select the data of the phone number. Okay. As I've selected data from my pre-response, the data is mapped. And as I've mapped the data, the data has now become dynamic. That means whenever a new response is going to be captured in our previous step automatically the new data is going to be updated in place of this map data similarly it is asking for the username to whom we want to send the campaign message to so for the username over here i'm going to search for the name of my student that is first name space the last name so this is the name of my student i've written it right over here next it is asking for the source and the tags i do not require the fields so i'm going to skip the part after that it is asking for the template parameter template parameter is the field in which we have to enter the value of the variable that we have created in the template that we have created as i've already told you i've created a single variable in this template for my student's name right over here so now to enter the value of this variable we have to enter it in this field template parameter as in this place of variable one i'm on the student's name so what i'm going to do is for the template parameter i'm going to map the data of the name of my student okay so the name of my student is i'm going to map it first name space the last name so i've mapped the data right over here okay next it is asking for the attributes url and the file name I do not require the fields, so I'm going to skip the part, okay? After that, it says save and send test request button. But before clicking on this button right over here, you can see I have entered a mobile number, which is a dummy mobile number in place of this mobile number field. As a WhatsApp message cannot be forwarded to this mobile number, so what I'm going to do is just for the test, in place of the dummy mobile number, I'm going to enter my mobile number so a WhatsApp message can be forwarded on my number and we can check whether a WhatsApp message is fully forwarding or not, okay? So in place of the mobile number field, I'm going to enter my mobile number. So I've entered my mobile number in place of this field right over here as I have entered before the dummy mobile number a WhatsApp message cannot be forwarded to that number. That is why for the test I've entered my mobile number right over here. In your case you have to just map the data of the mobile number of the form submission that is done by students as the number is going to be a real number so they are going to receive the WhatsApp message okay. As I've entered the mobile number I'm going to click on the save and send test request button. As I've done that, we've received a response for the success comes as true and we've received a message ID which is a positive response. So now I'm going to open my WhatsApp and I'm going to check whether I have received a new WhatsApp message or not. For that, I'm going to open my WhatsApp. And yes, you can see right over here, I have received a WhatsApp message. It says, hello, test lead. Okay, this was the name of my student test lead. You can see right over here, it says, thank you for showing interest in our courses. We are excited to help you with your educational journey. And this was the same template message that we have created using WhatsApp by AISNC. It's now been forwarded to me as a message on my WhatsApp. Okay, as we have received the message successfully, this means that WhatsApp by AISNC is now successfully connected to Pabli Connect. As the connection is successful between Typeform and WhatsApp by AISNC, 
S and C. Now, whenever a new form submission is going to be done by any of my students, automatically they're going to receive a WhatsApp message with the help of WhatsApp by AI Sensei, okay, on their WhatsApp number. As we have now set up our action step, my objective is to also create a record of the form submission in Google Sheets, okay. So now what we're going to do is we're going to add another action step to this workflow. And for the action application over here, I'm going to select it as Google Sheets as I want to create a record of the form submission in my Google Sheets spreadsheet that I've created. That is why for the action application, I'm going to select it as Google Sheets. And for the action event, I'm going to select it as Add New Row. As whenever a form submission is going to be done with the help of type form, automatically a new row of the form submission details is going to be added in my Google Sheets, okay? And then I'm going to click on this connect button. A new window is going to appear in front of you. Only click on add new connection or else you can select the extinct connection. After that, click on sign in with Google. Then a new window is going to appear in front of you, which is asking for a permission. So I'm going to click on this allow button. As the C process my data is perfectly safe with public connect. So I'm going to click on this allow button. As you can see, that is fully authorized Google Sheets to public connect. After authorizing, it is asking for us to select a spreadsheet in which we want to create a record of our form submission details. So I've created a first spreadsheet over here in the name of type form submission. So for the spreadsheet over here, I'm going to select it as type form submissions. Okay. After that, it is asking for us to select a sheet. So I've created a single sheet in the name of sheet one. You can see right over here. So for the sheet over here, I'm going to select it as sheet one. After that, it is asking for the first name, last name, email, phone number. Which course are you interested? in and do you have any additional questions or comments so these are the same fields that i've created in this spreadsheet you can see first name last name email phone number which course are you interested in and do you have any additional questions or comments so these are the same fields that i've created and i want to create a record of the form submission under these fields right over here okay so what i'm going to do is for the data of that i'm going to map the data of the form submission right over here so now let us do that i'm going to map the data for the first name over here i'm going to map the data of the first name of my student i'm going to map the data it is asking for the last name so for the last name over here i'm going to map the data of the student's last name who have done the form submission for the email over here i'm going to map the date of the email of my student's form submission for the phone number i'm going to map the date of the phone number right over here i'm going to map it it is asking for which course are you interested in for that i'm going to map the date of the course answer that i've received right over here i'm going to map it and similarly for the question right over here i'm going to map the date of the question so this is the answer of the question. I'm going to map it, okay? After filling in all the required details, I'm going to click on the Save and Send Test Request button. As I've done that, you can see right over here, we have received a response, which is a positive response. So now I'm going to open my Google Sheets and I'm going to check whether the record of the form submission has been created in my Google Sheets or not. For that, I'm going to open my Google Sheets that I've created. And yes, you can see right over here, the record of the form submission has been created in my Google Sheets. So the first name as test, last name as lead, email as test lead at the rate publicutes.com for the phone number or dummy mobile number. Over here for the course interested in question as graphic design and UX UI fundamentals. And for the question that was asked, the answer that we have written, you can see right away has been created as a record. So this means that Google Sheet has also now been connected to Public Connect. And this is how you create this amazing automation between Typeform, WhatsApp and Google Sheets with the help of Public Connect. So now to sum up till now what we have done. I am an owner of a business and I sell different courses to my students in my business. I have created a form with the help of type form that's a course inquiry form so that my students can raise the inquiries that they have towards the course that I'm selling. My objective is that, that as soon as by any of my students a form submission is going to be done with the help of type form they're going to raise an inquiry automatically towards the student who have raised the inquiry a whatsapp message should be forwarded thanking them for showing interest in my services and telling the next steps that they can follow. And after sending the whatsapp message I also want to create a record the form submission that is done with the help of time form in my Google Sheet spreadsheet that I've created so that later my team can manage the form submissions data. And for that, I've created this amazing automation between type form, WhatsApp by ASNC and Google Sheets with the help of Public Connect. So if you like this video, please subscribe to our channel, hit on the like button, comment on if any questions or doubts, and please share this video. Not just with these applications, you can create automation with the help of Public Connect between multiple applications. If you have any doubts, you can send us email on support at the rate public.com. If you have any queries, you can ask your queries on forum.pabli.com. If you have any queries regarding the pricing of Public Connect, then you can check out this link. If you like this video, please subscribe to our channel, hit on the like button, comment down below if you have any questions and doubts, and please share this video. And thank you for watching.